Well, g'day tubes, how's she hanging? Pretty good here. This, I think, is gonna be about <laughs> the last nicest day in this month of this winter we're gonna get, well, before we get into the crap. So I'm out enjoying her. <laughs> I mean, just in my, my nice brown shirt today and that's it, no coat, no nothing, no toque. It is freaking nice. Anyways, uh, we got our um, leaf dumping trailer apart this morning and uh, took the top off. I uh, tried loading the little machine into it, but it's just way too big for it, <laughs> actually. The poor little trailer, the trailer's only uh, just over three foot wide by five foot long, and it pretty much sucked up the whole entire trailer and pretty much uh, flattened the springs right flat. So I'm like, yeah, there's not enough trailer for it. So anyways, uh, <clears throat> we got the uh, this thing on the skid. accumulate on it will run off because she's on a bit of a angly there so that's good uh, I didn't get the insides here painted I guess but uh, that's all right this is actually the trailer side here that little gap here is actually the trailer so this actually needs to get painted here or something but uh, she's already rusting on her way <laughs> so from the wet leaves and crap that's in there so uh, I should have something put on her, but I, I don't know. I'm probably not going to put anything on it. And I guess that's her home for the winter until next fall or maybe springtime when I want to, uh, you know, collect some some other crap. There's the inside of all the top. That's where the screeny mesh thing went on. And looks good. She's up off of the crap though, right? So it's not going not gonna to go crappy with the wood going all rotten because it's sitting right on the dirt anyways that was good that was good to get that off and uh, I've already stored the trailer too and I uh, brought in the little guy for his oil change today so I got him draining it before I went for lunch so let's go see how he's doing uh, it looks like he's all dribbled out and everything not too bad I guess um well, there's still the odd dribble coming there. It's probably about as all we're gonna get though, so I'm gonna put this drainer plug back in. Ah, ah. That's good, and we've got the new the new Dewey here. recommended capacity of oil which is 3.4 liters which doesn't seem like much but doesn't seem like much but I guess if you're dumping liters like you know jugs in it seem like a much but this little, this measuring jug I got here doesn't seem like much it should fill her up anyways and I can just see the overflow bottle looks good here, so that's good. There's 203 hours on this now. So this is actually the first 
When did we get this last year? This about this time maybe ish. Something in around that. I can't really remember 100%. Was it last year? The year before? Huh. Must have been the year before. I can't remember. I'll have to look back in the videos. <laughs> I know I made a video of getting a new one, so new one. If it's, geez, it was last year. I put 200 hours on this thing this year. Holy crap. That's, that's crazy. Of course, a lot of that was probably about 50 hours of sucking leaves. Which is probably about accurate. So I was thinking the, uh, load of leaves I had on that trailer pretty much flattened the springs out uh, on that little green trailer so I'm thinking holy crap that thing weighs like a ton like 2,000 pounds so I don't know it must have been awful close to 2,000 pounds per load of leaves or if they're wet maybe holy friggin crap so 2,000 we'll say okay let's say 1,800 pounds maybe give or take all right so 18, let me get my Dewey out here, 1,800 pounds times say 32 loads back there, that's 57,600 pounds of leaves <laughs> back in those heaps, holy friggin' crap. Okay, I don't know if this can get wedged up here soon, it's not going to really drain it though. Uh, that's not going to work as expected. Okay, I got a, a funnel here too. I don't know if this is going to work as an expected in her too either. Silly thing, I need it to stay up like this. To drain out really good. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, well, anyways, we got her mostly in. And, um, run her in here for a sec. sit a few and then we'll check our levels all right just while we're waiting for this guy to settle his oils down a little bit I wanted to uh, get this uh, little bucket off of this guy here again and uh, maybe get some of those ears traced here for making the templates for whatever you know so let's fire it up you can get the bucket off again here figure it out this time I think it'd be a little easier
good to go. So I'm gonna go throw that in on the bench. All right, I'm trying to remember how I did the other one, the other buckets. I think mostly I just made, made them up kind of as I needed them, but uh, this one I kind of want to sort of follow the same sort of thing, right? So what I want to do is if I kind of sort of follow the, the outside here, Cut that out. Oh crap, where did my cutters go? Um, here. A little behind some other stuff. Okay, so that should be the bucket profile. So now if I cut if I cut out this. doing this the wrong way. I don't really remember how I used to do these now. If I cut out this... That out. Um, now, if we say I'm to buck it up, well, actually, no, that's the way I want to keep it. That should be the profile. Pretty good. A little hair off this here. bucket or back hole bucket. I don't know how you could actually patent that. But somehow they do, I guess. Okay, so that should be a good match for our ear, which it is. Let's have a, a look you see at our ears here. And they should be the both the same either way. So, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Minus a few welds here and there, but uh, this is probably going to be a little different because I measure around here, so that will have to be a little shorter in there. All depends what size of stuff I go with, but that's our basic pattern here anyways. That should be the same in there. Pretty darn good. But we'll have to remember that it has to be a little smaller. Hmm, should be the same size as this. Yeah, like I say, I measured around here, not the, not the bar itself. All right, I got a couple eyeballs plunged out of her now, plunged out of her, and uh, that was pretty easy. Um, I actually just, uh, let me take a piece of scrap here, so these, uh, I just use a socket actually just to kind of beat them a little bit and then they just kind of punch out.
All right. That'd be awesome if the metal would do that too, but it doesn't. I'll have to drill them, I guess. I got, um, gonna get one of those one inch drill thingies, you know, to drill a hole for that. That should work good. All right, well, I found a couple of scrappy kind of pieces here, but I can't get, I can't get, I can almost get one there. Um, kind of thinking of maybe just cutting this straight across for right now, though, until I figure out what I'm going to kind of use for uh, bar stuff in there, because I think, well, I got pretty much the same size of stuff, I think. I don't feel like that one of theirs is solid, though. I don't think it is, or mine is, like, <laughs> solid. So it might make it too heavy. I might actually have to go get some two inch, oh what crap, what size is this stuff here anyways on this, do you think? Looks like two, two and a quarter outer, di outer diameter. Because uh, I doubt they use solid bar on that. I actually highly doubt they use solid bar now because it would make it too heavy. Um, but anyways, um, trying to get Get it there. Okay. And I'm not actually going to cut these today. This is just some prep prepping work for cutting. But I'm thinking couple of projects I want to build for this thing. I should probably do a few of these while I'm doing them. So there's one. Mm. Fortunately, I can get one there. half inch material like the stuff they've used on that bucket. Okay. I think for now that's all I'm going to cut out because this this might not be exactly how I want it. Um, cut that one there, I think. It's easier to cut more out after than it is to try to add it in again, right? So I get the rough figure there of what we're doing. Uh, yeah, I don't know when exactly I'm going to cut these out of here, but um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. That. Uh, it's not a lot of cutting, but uh, just getting everything all set up, I just, and I don't really feel like getting all that out today. So I probably sh should should look at my cutting tip on this. Whoops, right? Should look at this thing, I think. I'll just pull this right off of here. doesn't look too bad but the um, usually when those get a bit more of a pit in the center there she'll focus on that maybe I'll change it okay where is my box of Dewey's over here feels kind of light oh that's not good Box of Dewey's. Okay, so there's a new nozzle. You can see the 
the difference between those. This one's actually pretty bad. <laughs> uh, so that one can go in there. And electrode, electrode. These are all nice fresh ones, I think. Yeah, that can go in there. And then the little swirl ringy thingy can go in next to hold it together. And I think I'm going to replace this as well. My little nozzle guy here. I've got some more up here. A little drag tip nozzle thingy. It's more here, so I think, I think I'll fire on a new one too. Just because it's looking kind of shrabbly, crabbly. She's been used a few times, I guess, eh? Yeah, I probably should. Oop, that one's gone. Okay. All new bits. And I was cutting stuff, oh man, way too much, I guess, in the actual holder here. She started to all separate on me. You can see all the fiberglassy stuff starting to peel off. It was getting so hot, I guess, but I didn't throw it out. But this kit come with a spare one, so we, uh, Screw on the spare one. And that should be that. Okay, so, um, yeah, that electrode's junk. I think the rest of these were new because I put a bunch in here. Yeah. That's what actually, sorry, that's what they're supposed to look like when they're, when they're new and fresh. She'll focus on that. See the nice end though, right? So that's what they're supposed to look like. Yeah. Uh, okay. These are junk, I think. These little nozzles. And it looks like... Hmm. That's a different type deeper one. Oh crap, I don't really have any more nozzles left. <gasps> oh no. Yes, I do. Kick you up here. Uh, nozzles. Nozzles. Okay. I'm going to pull these all out of here and replace them with nice freshy ones. Freshy ones. Okay, and these ones, yeah, let's see, these ones are probably not bad, but they do get burnt out kind of quick. That one's actually not too bad yet. Okay maybe reorder some of them. I don't do a whole lot of cutting, mind you, but they don't seem to take too long to get kind of burnt out. And, uh, I guess I could put another one of these tips in here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change these all over here. I don't generally use these other ones too much. They're a little different, right? different applications. So I'm going to put all those back in. Just like that. Oh. Now we've got a full kit again. Pretty much. Sweet! Alright, I want to try to see if I can get one of these teeth off of here. Now, the only way I can see how is to heat up this little tabs and uh, pry the thing out. To, uh, like these little tabs that are smushed into the inside here. I'm going to try to warm them up a little bit. I think I probably only need to get one side out. Oh. I got no acetylene. That's not good. Helps a bit if you turn it on. I suppose. 
That's bad. So I'm just going to gently warm these things up a little bit here. You guys able to see that? Not too bad. Take it back because that whole thing is cold, right? I don't think I'll need to hammer it, but you never know. that's going because it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to get in there with that. Oh. Weirdy torch. Just no bite behind this thing like it's a silly design. I don't really know why they did it like that. Gotta get her hotter I guess. Maybe I'll just try a screwdriver of some sort here. I don't know, other than that. Oh, that one will get me in behind if I get it good and red hot. too fast. this stuff here if they want to replace the tooth. I failed. Uh, I could have just psh, 
cut it right off, you know, but I'm like, I don't really want to cut it right off, you know. Uh, so yeah, I just uh, heck with it. I <laughs> just have to build a whole new one and uh, we'll go from there. So mine will probably be without any of this stuff though. It'll just be sh sh flat, I think. That's how I'm gonna do it. Um, teeth are good for, you know, ripping apart gravelly and rocks and stuff, but for as much as I'm gonna do with it, I think it'll probably be fine. Just to get down there and, you know, and it'll kind of work through and then scoop out and then up. That's all you need. It'll be a lot shorter, a lot shorter <laughs> for me. So, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's uh, eh, failed, I guess we'll say. Oh well. All right, well, let's check our levels here. Just give it a clean right off. I'll let her dip. And oh, we're down a hair a little bit, but not, whoa, not really too far down. I might just leave her at that check her after I've used her for a bit and stuff, you know, and then if it needs a little bit more, I can put another 100 mil or something in, so, ah, I said 3.4, I put a little bit over 3.4 and it wasn't enough, so, I'm thinking maybe a 3.5, 3.5 liters would be about what you need, um, now this, I should probably check the filter, the air filter, um, after all the leaves and stuff, it's probably, probably pretty grimy. This one, I'm pretty sure I don't have a replacement, so, so these I'm going to have to just blow out today. Jeez, it's not much smaller than the other one. <laughs> that one doesn't really look too bad at all. I think I'm just going to drive on with that one. Okay, let me grab some air and we'll blow this other guy out. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I'll drive on with that, I guess. I must have done it maybe not too, too long ago. All right, well, that can go back in. In, in, in. How's it going? Pretty guard here, eh? <laughs> I like those things, they're funny. Little air dewies. Get in there, you turd face. There. I think. I think. There. Oh, I don't like that too much. I gotta go a little more over with her. Just about hitting the fan there. There. That's more better. Okay, let's crank this feller back on here. It's a big rubber elastic -y hold down thing. Not sure about that in the right spot. And everything else, I think, should be still good. Battery's pretty clean up there. It's nice, accessible there, eh? Oh, isn't that beautiful? The other one we had, the 4110, way back, it was just freaking buried. None of this hood come up like this, right? You had to uh, take off all these pins and then pull that off and hook the lights and everything. <laughs> it was a nightmare. This is way more better now. Everything was good there, so... I think we're good. Now the next thing, maybe two in the next couple of days, we'll have to, uh, I don't know if I'll film it or not, but because uh, I filmed it, you know, many years before, is the uh, changing over everything. Well, actually, you know what? I could get rid of some of that now. Uh, 
I don't think I'm going to be mowing. Uh, I'll maybe wait and I'll leave it all. Put it all where I normally put it and then I'll know where it all is for next year. But basically it's taken off all these mower lift arms and uh, the big brackets back here that go on the three point hitch arms. These big brackets down in here are all hooked to those bars. So they all come off. And uh, yeah, I'll do it on the other side there. I won't do that over here because I'll end up losing them or something and I'll be screwed in the spring. Where did I put those things? Keep my keep my game plan going the same way I've been doing her. So uh, be nice to change the tires back here though, but they're also at the front side of the garage too. So put the big uh, loaded winter ones on, right? I hate doing that. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> I don't mind these ones because they're they're uh, nice and light and stuff, but the uh, the loaded ones, yeah, they're, they're not much fun. But for now, I guess we'll throw this bucket back on here. Good. I'll just shoot some grease into these. Won't take much. And the rest of it I think should be fine. Maybe I'll do it all while I'm here. Why not, eh? One and And that one. Do 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 do. Good. Okay, we're good.
Well, that's about whoa her for today. Almost dropped you. Whoa, uh, that's about her for today. I'm just uh, running up to uh, look actually at another trailer. <laughs> Believe it or not, just looking today. I seen one on the guy's website where I bought my aluminum trailer. That's a really bad place for the sun to be. There, that's better. Um, they have one there, oh, eight foot by. I think it's 56 or 58 wide, something like that. Uh, flat deck, no sides, and those little kind of chubby balloon tire things on it. Now you can't even see me. Holy crap. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to look at it. Um, it's not really super expensive, surprisingly being made out of aluminum. I was quite surprised. Um, just going to go have a look at it. I was actually up there on Sunday, and I couldn't see it. So I don't know if they don't have it right now or if they've got it hidden somewhere else because it is small like you could actually slide it underneath their um, uh, front gates there and I'm gonna be gone with it kind of thing so I'm um, wicked bright but uh, anyways uh, oh man holy crap uh -huh. anyways we're just gonna go have a look see before they kind of close here today and uh, he uh, should hopefully have one if he's got it on their website and kind of hopefully they keep up to that and you know take it off if they had sold it or whatever, but maybe it's something they get in all the time, I don't know. Uh, probably won't do video on it, because if they do have it hidden somewhere, I'll have to ask someone about it and uh, have a look at it. So, But uh, this little trailer is for putting on, actually I got a little bit of a brain planny storm going in my head. I guess I better get going here. A little bit of a brain planny going on in my head. Um, this thing uh, should be able to hold the machine. And uh, on the front part kind of thing where, like the tonguey, like in the trailer part, but where the tonguey is. I'll show you a picture when we get up here. I got a picture on my Dewey here of it. Um, show you a picture of it. And I'm kind of thinking that I can build, because it's a, it's a tilt deck, a little tilt deck on it too, but it's not uh, like a dump. So I could put dirt on it, but then it's not gonna be able to dump. So I'm thinking of building like a, sideways dump box on it with a little hydraulic of some sort and uh, be able to lift it up sideways and dump the crap off and, uh, and away we go. So this guy behind me is just dying to get by. I love screwing with people like this. So I'm going to speed up now. <laughs> That's so mean. But anyways, I got a little bit of a drive to get up here and then uh, I'll show you this picture. So you're probably wondering, why are you going to go buy another trailer? You could just build one. Well, yes, I could build one. But I couldn't build one out of aluminum, <laughs> out of steel, out of aluminum, for the price that I could buy this one for. Freaking light. That's that's the thing. So, um, like by the time I got into axles, springs, all the hanging hardware, tires, and you know tires, rims. I mean, there's like 600 bucks right there. You know, and. Um, getting the material and getting her all cut and sized and all that crap and welded together and blah blah blah. I can weld aluminum, but uh, ooh, getting the nice job, bud. Didn't leave me much time there. Getting the stuff uh, all together, I just, I couldn't do it for that price. So I'm like, that's the way to do her, you know? And I just have to go sign a paper, get my owner sheepy thingy for it, pay the guy and drive her home. <laughs> and that's it. So, uh, kind of liking the idea of that. Now, it's going to be different because it's got no sides on it, but I'm not like driving her up and down the road, so it should be all right, you know, like I'm not going to be using her. If I was going to take her up and down the road, i use my other trailer, right? But just in the cemetery, that should be fine, you know? So, uh, but anyways, we're almost there. Well, I'll show you this picture. Another thing, just before we show you the picture, before we get there and show you the picture, uh, the trapper guy was in, trapping the beavers. And uh, he set uh, a bunch of traps there last week there. And he says, oh, I've been in and I got four. Four or five of them. No. Four down at the other end and you got two, three up our way. So I'm like, wow, that's pretty sweet. So he's got uh, like six or so beavers, five or six beavers out of our rivery system there. But he says there's still more. I'm like, really? How do you know that? He's like, well... I didn't uh, get the other trap set. I got them cleaned out and he's like, I had to run. I couldn't get them reset again. He was in today and got them set and they had fixed all the dam again. <laughs> so there's still a couple more there. 
So he reset a couple of traps and uh, probably he figures by tomorrow because they'll see the water has gone down and they won't like that. They'll go sw swim into the little trophy things he made and then they just touch the little thing and then bam like a mouse trap, right? Nails them. He says, oh, that kills them within like seconds as they're dead. I'm like, yeah, you wouldn't want to get Jerem caught in there, I guess. And he's like, no, 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 we don't want to do that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're getting uh, getting the beavers down. Just uh, if you're curious about a beaver update, well, that didn't sound right. <laughs> if you're curious about the river update, maybe with uh, the pesky beavers in the river. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're getting trapped. So uh, he says once we get them all, you know, by tomorrow, he'll set some more if they catch some more, say tonight because they go out at night to fix the dam once the water's down, I guess safety and darkness, right? He, uh, <clears throat> he uh, says that if there's any, any left, he'll set them again, and then if they don't come and uh, the next one say come and fix the dam or get caught again, then um, we're good. And then he says we'll uh, rip it open, let it drain all the water out, or most of the water out, and then let her sit for you know a week or so. And uh, see if they anything comes back and fixes it again. And if he says, "Well, they come back and fix it again," then they'll set some more traps. So, uh, but so far we're looking pretty good. They've caught like five, five or six beavers, whatever he was telling me there now. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, not awesome for the beaver or anybody that's you know like in wildlife. But holy cow, you gotta kind of keep control of these things, or they'll flood your house out too, right? You know, I know they uh, need a place to live too, but uh, somewhere else, <laughs> somewhere else, not in my house. So, uh, I know a lot of people probably say, oh, I gotta go somewhere. Yeah, they do, but there's a lot of habitats in the middle of absolutely nowhere that they should be living really at, where, you know, I guess we've kind of moved into their territory technically, right? And not the other way around. Um, or, uh, yeah, we've moved into their territory, so. But, um, Anyways, uh, just about there. So we'll show you that picture in a sec. I'm, sh I'm sure I will next. Anyways, hang on. Okay, trailer joint. Lots of trailers here and they do lots of repairs and stuff. There's a premier equipment trailer over there. I don't know if they're getting a new one or, or what's going on there, but I anyway, I just see the owner behind me. So this is the little guy here. Just a little guy. Oops, sorry. Right. Little guy. Little guy. Not a very good picture, I know, but I was taking it off the website. So I'll go ahead and see what they say. Okay, the boss just showed me a couple things outside here too, and uh, yeah. I don't know. I need something for toting that thing around and putting the dirt in when I dig a cremation hole. But um, that little guy inside just a little bit light, I think. It would probably work, but it's rated at 2,100 pounds, and I think the machine weighs like 2,100 pounds or something like that, so, or 22,000 pounds, or it's like, I don't know, something around there. So it would definitely be hurting the poor guy. <sighs> That'd be nice if I could just try it, <laughs> but they wouldn't let you do that. You know, what are we going to buy it now? Now it's got tread marks on the thing, we can't sell that now, so I'm like, well, yeah. I don't know. I still can't build one for that price. So I don't know what to say. Why well, they lower the axle on the green trailer, but then every time I want to do a hole, I got to take the freaking stupid tailgate off of that thing, which is kind of a pain in the rear end. It's heavy. It's hard. It's not too bad getting it off. It's getting it back on is the hard part. I don't really know what to say. Anyways, he was mentioning they could put a little bit bigger tire on it. They'd have to put a block between the the uh, frame of the trailer, I think he said, and the or something or something or other. He says we could do that and put the bigger tires on and you get your uh, big rating. I'm like, well, that's not really changing the axle and stuff. It's going to be all the same there. He's like, yeah, the bigger tires will give you a bigger rating. I'm like, well, I don't want it any higher, though, because that would make it go higher. I like the kind of lowness, you know, where I could just probably not even need any ramps at all because it's a tilt and load right you just pull the pin and then it just doing flops down and you just drive on and then when you get up so high it falls back over right I have to think about it I don't know I got one coming up for uh, Wednesday 
Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, Wednesday to do a burial. So I'm going to try using the machine then, but um, I don't know. I could use my I could use my little green trailer, the one we built that I used for the leaves. I just uh, wouldn't have room for the machine and the dirt on the trailer, so I'd have to dig it. I like bring my tractor back. Maybe I'll try that first to see how that works. Pretty darn heavy on that thing, though. I don't know. It might. It might kill that thing. <laughs> Holy cow, it was squishing the tires real good, and they probably need a bit of air. And it was pretty much had the springs right flattened on that thing. I think they're only like 2,100 pound springs or something, so it's probably overloaded it too much. Uh, it's a little scary, but yeah, that it'll just bend the axle and boink, and the tires will be like up, you know, kind of. Holy cow, look at this. Someone was her juicing her. Wow, all over the grass and everything. Really? You got a problem there, bud? Holy crap. Somebody was upset, I guess, or drunk. But anyways, uh, glad it's their rubber, not mine. Uh, my rubber's almost burnt right off anyways. It's going to need some new rubber. I don't know when we're going to do that, but uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I got to get a rubber for this thing, too. I was going to try to do another winter with it. I don't think I can, though. This freaking Pirelli's on this thing sucking snow. Good thing it's four-wheel drive, because if it wasn't, I would have been screwed many times. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, maybe with the cap on, a little more weight back there might help too, but, um, yeah, may, maybe, uh, just thinking about this again here, maybe I'll try using my little green trailer on Wednesday there and drive the machine back, dump the dirt into it, go dump the, go dump the, uh, the dirt, and then, uh, uh, load the machine up and take it back up. That might work, actually. I just have to use ramps. It's pretty low to the ground, so it's uh, it didn't actually load too bad today. It was a kind of a little nerve-wracking when I was going back up, but everything was dry, so that's the only downfall is if the stuff gets damp and wet, and or like the the tracks get damp and wet, and I go up the the ramps, it tends to want to slide on that. Now I don't know if I could paint it with something and then sprinkle a bunch of that sand stuff onto it. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Uh, hard to say. Either that or buy a pair of steel ramps or uh, aluminum rampy things or something. Go that way or, I don't know. Still, I'm on the fence about it all right now, how to actually do it. The best way to do it, the more or most efficient way to do it. If I did it with the green trailer, I wouldn't have to buy anything else. So that would be kind of nice. I wouldn't have to store another trailer and, you know, because I've got like, how many now? It's ridiculous. So, uh, could use my big aluminum trailer. It's already got the ramp on it. I don't really want to put dirt in there though, because all the little channels where the uh, the tie downs go, all the little channels and stuff in there, they uh, get full of dirt, and I have to keep it all out of that, and it's just a nightmare. So I don't really want to use that trailer. Maybe I'll try my small green trailer Wednesday, see how that works. I don't know. I'm a little leery about that because it was pretty squashed looking today. <laughs> Poor guy. But anyways, uh, I guess that's about it for today. <sighs> Not much else happening now. She's on and the you know, sun's going down. Freaking sun. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I guess I will carry on. I'll head her home and get this all rendered up for you. And uh, we shall go from there. I can't say when I'll talk to you next-ish. Wednesday, apparently, I've got two funerals now, and I got another full size on Thursday. So, holy crap, this week again is like been the same for like the last like three friggin' weeks. Wednesday, Thursday, bang, 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 bang. It's like really, really. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, whatever, you know. But I mean, it's holy cow. It's I don't know. And those guys did it to me again. They had already booked one. For Wednesday at 3.30, and he texts me again today, oh, we want to do a blah, blah, blah on Wednesday at 3.30. I'm like, uh, your other guy already booked one for that time. I can't really be in two places at once. You guys can, but I can't. Oh. Okay, well, how's 4 o'clock? I'm like, sure. What the frig ever. <laughs> I mean, holy crap. These two guys don't talk back and forth. I don't think too much about stuff. And then they end up 
for some reason end up cross booking stuff on me. I don't know if they're doing it just to tick me off or if they're just that dense that they don't know it, each other guys is booked with, with who or with when. So I don't know, it's getting to me, but anyways, can't do anything about it <laughs> except dig the hole, smile and nod. Holy, someone's clear cut a bit in there. Hmm. But anyways, I got a better header out. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. So the Wednesday there, I'm gonna probably just try the little trailer there and see how that works. I haven't put the tailgate back on that one yet. Maybe I won't, I don't know, because you know, with the tailgate on it, I can't really load the machine, right? So, uh, I don't know, I might have to load him backwards though. That's gonna really suck because I'm gonna have to go backwards, go up the ramps with the bucket, maybe on the ground in case it wanted a tip on me. I mean, it's doable, but it kind of sucks. <laughs> but uh, anyways, we'll figure that out. So anyways, you guys have a good night. Thanks again for watching, and we shall catch you um, when we catch you.